Hey there, so today I have something a little different as far as a where a salt and pepper shaker is made. I am in front of my salt and pepper shaker collection, which I like salt and pepper poodle themed salt and pepper shakers. This is how it all started. I started with a couple of poodle themed antique salt and pepper shakers and I thought, oh, I'll just collect them all. How many can there be, right? <laughs> Yeah, it keeps growing so I have a pretty large collection although it's slowing down I think I got most of them but I'm sure there's some out there that I don't have um, but most as you know salt and pepper shakers from the 1950s and 60s were made in Japan mass-produced kind of the China of the day so because they were mass-produced some of them weren't that great of quality but there was one made in Germany of a poodle and that is by Goebel Hummel and here it is. Very cool salt and pepper shaker. Um, and if you happen to be so lucky, you can also get the little tray that goes with it. So that's not always something that is available because those break. But if you find that, that I think really completes the picture. It's interesting that they have one smaller than the other because I guess, you know, we like our salt. But what's neat about it is when you actually feel it in your hands, there is that difference in quality. There is a, it's just colder and smoother. And uh, even though there's not a lot of paint on it, the paint is very strategically placed. The eyes are great. Um, you'll see if we look on the bottom here, I think I can zoom in on this if I touch that. There is the logo. Now I have a couple of them. I also have another one. Um, that's a little bit newer because the Hummel, Global Hummel brand was around since 1935, I believe. Yeah, 1935 on up and I guess it's actually even till today. But uh, Hummel, if you look at this brand again, you'll see here that it is actually a little bumblebee that is inside a V there. And that bumblebee is because Hummel means bumblebee in German. So that was uh, Maria Hummel's last name. And she uh, just designed these sketches. She loved kind of that Bavarian lifestyle and capturing the innocence and the, and the sweetness of, of what it was like, you know, the kind of the, the nostalgia for days gone by. And her mother said that she would just look at that stuff by the hour and do these designs and she did a lots and lots of designs. And she went to art school and after art school she went into a convent with the sisters of Sissine, I don't even know how to actually say it. But she made some postcards and Goebel, which was a uh, ceramics figurine maker, saw her designs and wanted to use them. So she kind of like, oh, and then agreed to it with the thing that she was going to approve every single one and the color palette. She had a 200 color palette that she was very meticulous about. So every single one had to be approved by her. And sometimes these molds take months in order to make perfect. She died in 1946 and the rights to approve them went to the sisters and the sisters of the convent carried on that tradition of, of approving the designs, keeping that philosophy that she had about her designs and also the color palette. So, but what I, I just find so interesting about this is the quality of it. And you can just really tell that. So this is the poodle version of it. Many of the Global Hummel um, ones command lots of money, but it's important to look at the logo on the bottom and see how it is. So for example, as I mentioned before, you can see, of course, one has a cork and one has the plastic cork. And so there is a little bit difference in what they are. So on the website, shakerreview.com, I have a a graphic there that shows all the different um, logos and what they were in different time periods. So you can look at yours and kind of estimate where um, your uh, Goebel Hummel uh, salt and pepper shaker came from or figurine. So hope you enjoyed that and um, please check out my website with sometimes I have some salt and pepper shakers available. Not too many because I kind of keep them all but you know, you get the idea. <laughs> Bye for now.